Hello friends, in this video I'm going to start uh, doing um, some examples on simplifying algebraic expression. <coughs> now, though this question, these questions uh, seem to be easy, uh, students do tend to do things wrong, okay, when they see fractions like this, you have um, expressions like this on the top, x plus 2 divided over 3 minus x over 5. Say students start doing crazy things here. So when the question is simplified, you have to write this. Generally, if the question is like this, they are asking us to write in as one fraction. Now this is one fraction. This is called a rational expression, and this is the other rational expression. So when the question is to simplify, you want to write this as one fraction instead of two fractions. So what can we do? Now, treat this as you treat a fraction. So let me first discuss about fractions. Suppose you have, say, one third. Okay, let me make it slightly difficult. Suppose you have, say, two thirds. Take away one fifth. Okay. Okay, now, <coughs> when you're dealing with fractions, you should be knowing that you can sim you can't take away the new you can't do it like this this is wrong okay i'm doing something wrong over 3 minus 5 okay you can't cannot do this now to simplify fractions or to take away in this in this case you have to make the denominators equal so what do i mean by that well i look at 3 and 5 i can say 3 and 5 can be changed into 15. So I'm going to write the next step like this. This is 2 over 3 times times minus 1 over 5 times times. I'm going to multiply something here. I want you to think, pause and think. So what number should come here so that this becomes 15? So when I say this has to be 5. So if you multiply this with 5, you have to multiply this with 5. Basically, this is 10 15th is same as 2 thirds. Now, what should I multiply here to get, get a 15? So, I should multiply this with 3. And this is also 3. So, basically, you multiply it by 1. So, 5 over 5 is 1. So, now this becomes 10 over 15 minus 3 over 15. Now, both the denominators are equal, so you can take away the numerator. So, this is... 7 over 15. Now, how did I get 7? 10 take away 3 is 10 take away 3 is 7. Okay, now the same logic we're going to use here, the same approach. Okay, so let me take this violet color. So I'm going to say write like this x plus 2 over 3 times times minus x over 5 times and times. Same, what should I multiply? As we saw, you have to multiply by 5 here. Yeah? So you have to also multiply this with 5. So you have to multiply this with 3 and this with also 3. So let me write it properly. This is 3. So this is 3. So this becomes 5 times x plus 2 over 15 minus 3x over now here, <coughs> you have to simplify or expand this or distribute this. So you go 5 times x is 5x plus 5 times 2 is 10. So I'll put this in brackets. It's always good to put this in bracket. Divide by 15 minus 3x over 15. Now, as you can take away here, you can take away the numerators. This is 5x plus 10 minus 3x over 15. Now I'm going to group the like terms. So this is 5x. It's always good to do more number of steps in algebra rather than less number of steps because it's, it's safe. Now you can simplify this too. So you've got 5x take away 3x, which is 2x plus 10 over 15. Now, this is a perfect answer. There's nothing wrong. You can't add 2x and 10 because 
they are unlike terms. But if you want to factorize this or simplify this a little, you can factor for the 2 out. So this is x plus 5 over 15. Now, this is the final answer. You can't do anything further after this. If you're doing anything further, <coughs> if you're thinking of, uh, say, dividing 5 by 15, that's wrong. And this is your final answer. Okay? See you in the next.